Look at this, 2567 Cummins. One side draft manifold extracted. It's kind of hard for me to imagine. I came up with this 24 years ago. This is around 01, and I ran across a guy named John Stang. Turns out John Stang ran the Cummins Skunk Works back then. Cummins stock was like $27 a share. It was extremely low. They needed a shot in the arm. And I went, you know what? You also need younger stockholders. How about make Cummins stock kind of in vogue? They were doing a common rail version of the 5.9 to come out in 03. I said, man, that injection technology rocks. My evaluation was, well, why don't we do the common rail? And we do it in a pickup truck. I found some records. I thought, we can break these records if we go 210 miles an hour. How do we get enough horsepower to set those records? I wanted the thing to be streetable. I wanted it to be able to pull our pit trailer, which is all our tools, our workbench, our wheels and tires, our quick change gears, all that stuff. They agree, they have no budget. Yeah, we'll give you a couple of used dyno engines. They made like 404 horsepower. We put it on our dyno, we made like 402. And we were then a couple of horsepower. So we knew we were in agreement if we're starting to talk horsepower with Cummins Engineering. We started at 400 and change, and we decided this thing's got an airflow problem. If we want to go further, we've got to do something about the airflow. We looked at the intake manifold and went, that's got to go, because we want to get in and port those intake ports. Started looking at what we could do for bolt pattern. We modified the head, designed casting for the big hoss side draft, did an exhaust manifold, which is fabricated. When we were done with everything we did, we had 735 horsepower at about 3,100 RPM. Call up the guys at Cummins and we tell them, <laughs> they go, oh, you're bullshitting me. You know, it was the first reaction I got from the first engineer I talked to. We put it in the truck, automatic trance. We drove to Bonneville, we drove onto the salt, made it a racer, and I was driving it to the starting line with a country radio station on. We broke the record on the first run, but it's gotta be a two-way average. Our best two-way average was 217. Our best one-way backdoor out the end of the fifth mile was 222. There is the world's first side draft Cummins manifold for a B-series Cummins on a 5.9. This is the record engine. I've decided to bring back the big hoss, specifically designed to fit the 6.7, and do it as a casting. I also want it to be affordable. Cummins did not participate in the cost of building this truck at all. I did it because I was nuts for diesel. <laughs> I still am.